it's time to check in with our friends at the Hawaiian Humane Society. And with spring in full bloom, that means it's kitten season. Here to chat with us about neonatal kitten care is Brandy Shimabukuru, Manager of Communications for the Hawaiian Humane Society. Aloha, Brandy. It's always a pleasure to have you. <laughs> and this is such an important topic because not only is this important in the spring, but honestly, year-round care for our neonatal kittens that you need it. You are absolutely right. Cats are warm weather breeders, so here in Hawaii, kitten season is really truly year-round. Mm -hmm. We do get the highest concentration of little ones, like this little guy here, Huckleberry. Hi, Huckleberry. And it's just the beginning. We're getting more and more. I just mm -hmm. picked up a, a sister for him that I'll be raising as a foster, a neonate foster. She's adorable, too. I got to see a little peek of her, and I I got to hold him earlier and he's so cute yeah. and sweet. Now I know you have an influx of kids, especially with itty bitty kitty season that's happening now at your Mo'ili Ili campus, Kosasa family in Eva Beach. Yep. So what can we do as like a public to really help with that and get involved a little bit more? That's You nailed it right there, Brittany. Get involved. We have a team of highly trained volunteers who are we affectionately call the itty bitty kitty committee. Mm -hmm. And I am a proud member of that on staff. I volunteer my time to raise little neonate kittens like Huckleberry here, who is just three weeks old. Mm -hmm. I've been raising him for the past two weeks and just picked up another one yesterday who I'll be raising with him because awesome. it's nice from a socialization standpoint to help them to have a friend as they're being raised up during this really critical time. Mm -hmm. You know, they're so vulnerable because they require round the clock care. Um, this little guy has needs to be fed about every three hours by bottle feeding. They can't regulate their temperature on their own, so mm -hmm. making sure that they have access to a nice warming disc and also helping to stimulate them to urinate and defecate because that's something their mama cat would do yeah. because they can't do it on their own so right. really truly these little kittens are completely reliant on human care to survive mm -hmm. and so vol foster volunteers are so important and it's so rewarding to see them get raised I'll have him for about another six weeks until he's old enough to get neutered and he'll be ready for adoption oh and he's such a cutie and kind of leaning off of what you just said about that you know what then with the public if they find abandoned kittens outside what can they do then that's kind of help with that. such a great question, Brittany. Yeah. Really, truly, you know, the, the best place for a little kitten like this is to stay with their mama, right? So okay. you want to make sure you're not kidnapping, is mm -hmm. what we like to call it. Uh, so one of the tips that we do is monitor them, right? As a good Samaritan, you don't want to separate them from mom before they're ready because mm -hmm. they are so vulnerable. The best place for them to be is to be raised by mom. So up on the screen right now, we have our found kittens flow chart. That's a really great way. Oh, this is awesome. Yeah, great we visuals. have it up on our website, too, for you to take a look at. But it's basically saying... If you found a kitten, what should you do? You can identify the age and then what the next step should be, right? Uh, one of the tips we like to do is put a ring of flower around a litter that you think is abandoned and check back on them in a couple hours. If you see paw prints, mom is coming back to check on them. Leave them be, right? Until yeah. they're old enough to be brought into Hawaiian Humane. We can get them spayed and neutered and found into loving homes. And then hopefully spay mom so that she we can curb pet overpopulation too. That's really important. Yes, for sure. And I was going to say, that's an amazing trick. I've been able to... I've been honest, really, just foster some kittens through you guys, OSPCA, and a few other wonderful organizations, even with cat charities here, with a lot of the work that you guys do. And there's always an influx of needing volunteers. There's always an influx of kittens, rather. So we always need volunteers. And those are great and wonderful tips. So you do have an event that's coming up soon. Can you share that a little bit with us, maybe for people who are wondering how they can learn to help foster, possibly, and even adopt a kitten? Absolutely. So join our Itty Bitty Kitty Committee training session that's coming up at our Kosaza Family Campus in Eva Beach. Mm -hmm. On Saturday, April 20th, we have sessions available at 10 a.m. and 11 a.m. And you can register at hawaiianhumane.org. Please join us. It is super fun. It's so fulfilling. And it's just the best experience for the entire family to get involved and save some lives. That sounds wonderful. And I'm actually going to be there so I can learn a little bit more, too. Yay. Because this is an amazing organization. Hawaiian Humane Society does so much for the community. So it's always a pleasure to have you, Brandy. Thanks for stopping by this morning. And thanks for stopping by, Huckleberry. <laughs> we'll see you guys.